Bridges project hits a new milestone. The first of three towers supporting the new downtown crossing is complete. WLKY's Marissa Alter joins us with a look at the progress. Marissa? Vicki, we're talking about Tower 5. This is the tower that's closest to Indiana, and it reached its peak at 230 feet. Now, video from a GoPro is giving us a unique look at the work and the view from up there. Working more than 200 feet in the air each day might make some people nervous, but it's just another day on the job for carpenter Carl Waters. It's very windy and dangerous. I mean, it's uh, potential falling everywhere you go. Waters is contracted by Walsh Construction for the Ohio River Bridges Project's downtown crossing. Each day, he straps on his gear and ascends the towers, usually working up there for 10 to 12 hours at a time. Uh, we got our hunters everywhere we go up there. Uh, lanyards. Last week, workers finished the first of the three towers that will support the Cable State Bridge from Jeffersonville to Louisville. Project manager Andy Barber says the other two towers, the ones closer to Louisville, will reach their peaks this summer. The most dramatic elements are still to come. As these towers start topping out, these uh, cables start going in. And you'll start seeing the bridge really take shape. Foundation work on the bridge began in July 2013, but section engineer Jeremiah Littleton has wanted to be part of the project for far longer. Uh, I remember as a little kid coming here for uh, Thunder Over Louisville and uh, being on the Kentucky shore, seeing the Colgate clock light up, seeing the fireworks, and thinking, man, it'd be great to build a bridge like the Kennedy. And, and here we are. So it's, a, it's really a dream of mine to, to finish this project out. Crews have worked through the winter despite the cold. River flooding and the fast current caused some issues last month, but construction is still on schedule. We'll have uh, traffic on this thing in uh, January 2016. So it's a really exciting time to see all these changes going on with the bridge. Now that January date is three months earlier than originally anticipated and will allow more extensive improvements to be made on the Kennedy Bridge. I'm Marissa Alter, WLKY News.